Hello again. Part two. What have I done? What have I done? Right, so I've done a lot of work off camera, all the boring stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and get some more footage, more working footage on camera for you. Um, it's hard work balancing talking to camera and doing work and filming work and blah blah blah. blah. So behind you, right, we have concentrating purely on mounting the exhaust housing, which is there. What have I done? Start from the left. I've done a lot of pie cuts, so these are 15 degree cuts. Uh, and the idea is that you get three of these, weld them all together, and you have a 90 degree bend, which I did on the M on the MX-5. Um, you could, well, you could do it better than that, but that's good enough for me. So they're done, all cleaned up, ready to weld. Um, I have. This is some angle iron that I've cut down, need to drill it and weld it onto there. And the idea being that it's going to have a hole in it so that it bolts up to that. Uh, I'm going to heat this up, heat up the end of the pipe, where my finger is. And we're going to try and sort of deform that onto this cone shape. So hopefully it gets a bit of a seal. Then I'm just going to uh, fill it with exhaust gunge, exhaust paste, so that's those done, then you drill in, um, the flange is done, bit of a, a miscalculation error, so ignore that, um, I was going to try and do two small holes uh, to match the gasket but total fail, luckily I've still got some material where it's going to be okay, but that's now done, that's ready to go, all lines up, happy with that. So this pipe here, this is going to be the main pipe for the turbo, that's going to go about there, okay, holding that, bear with me, the camera's going to shake about a bit but you have to be patient. Yeah. I'm halfway through. I've done these two little brackets. These need drilling out to 13 mil. I'm going to put, to place drill two new holes in here. I'm going to one above, one below. Bolt it on with some big bolts. Going all the way through, and that they were bolted onto there, so it's removable. And I'm going to weld that onto there. So you can see that, and I, hopefully that will be super strong because uh, that's going to take all the weight of the turbo, which is 10 kilos, 8 kilos, I don't know, I'm guessing, 7 kilos, whatever. So I've got to weld that on there tonight. Uh, finish drill some holes. So let's, uh, let's continue. Uh, also, after that, also. Um, on the engine, um, I've just pulled some stuff out of the way. Um, if you look back to the previous video, there were loads of tubes here and wires everywhere. I want to just, because there's going to be some exhaust pipes, a lot of heat, tied it all up, get stuff out of the way. These were the coolant pipes going to the car heater. Bin those off. Uh, heater valve, the uh, fuel pressure regulator so that's going to be relocated to the front bin that the wires i'm going to put them into a single loom and move them over to one side and wrap them up so there's no protect them from the heat uh, this is a sort of a bodge of the coolant uh, i need to clip that on properly and then that's going to go to the header tank um, the coolant system should hopefully still work even though i've kind of rerouted it we shall see um, that's it, let's uh, drill these holes out and do some welding.
back. Took a little bit longer than I had uh, hoped because I've got blunt drills. So I need to get them sharpened because I cannot do that. So, the, this is going to be a test fit and I might actually leave them on to weld them up. So far so good. Oh yes. Boom. Okay, so where's my pipe? That's my height reference. Not to be level with that. There we go. Spin the camera around. Boom. Right, so I'll get that tacked on. No, I'm going to tack on the uh, top flange first. Flange, get that tacked on, tack that onto there. Um, and then we can go on to start to weld together the elbows and start to run some pipes. So, let's go. Bit welded now. So we're going to weld the flange onto this pipe. Done a little bit of a test weld there just to make sure Hang on. Music off. So I've done a little test weld just to make sure I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to seam weld this. Uh, I'll film a little bit of it and then we'll cut to the next job. Uh, flange is on. The next job is to I'm just going to tack that onto there. Um, then I can, uh, well, I'm going to tack it on and then I'll come back to you. news so it's vertical just want to make sure that the turbo is not cock out right so I'm just going to uh, quickly seam weld all this up I've got to be careful that when I seam weld it they don't go all skew with now annoyingly if you look in some of the older videos, I've got a fold down welding table there that I can't get to because of the bloody car, so I'm going to have to weld against the wooden bench, which is annoying. But anyway, right, let's do this. Right then. I've just uh, put a bolt in the uh, exhaust housing, turbo exhaust housing there. Um, done the welds there. Not too proud of those, so I'm not going to let you see them. Um, I'd be out of practice, maybe, or settings on welder, whatever. Um, so, starting to see what, what I kind of imagined. Um, my next job now is a little bit unsure. I'm going to think about it. Uh, I need to start to think about mounting those. And then I've got to imagine this, getting that to this. So I've got that to do. And on this side I've got to come right down, right down and then across to meet that. There's going to be a 9 on the bottom of there. So I'm going to get some insulation tape. I'm going to tape these together using some tape. 
then I can tape them onto that pipe there and then I can kind of use another tape, visualise or see where it's all going to go and then uh, take it from there. So I'm going to do that off camera because that'll be boring to watch. Um, within the next clip it should all be kind of looking a bit better. So let's go. I'm back. I've taped together the pie cuts to give you the elbows. I've got one taped on there. Now I'm kind of stuck because I need to have a pipe on here. So I need to measure, get that mounted up, measure that length, cut it, elbow, and then the gap, measure a straight pipe there. So that's relatively simple once I've done this bit. Sorry, camera's looking the wrong way. This side again. I can't make any progress until I've, I've made this mount or this this piece of the exhaust. Then I can. That's going to come down. Bear with me. You will see what I'm doing in a moment. Okay. So once I've got the tabs on the the six inch length of exhaust or pipe, that can be screwed onto there. Then I can concentrate on connecting them two together. So that means that I am currently I'm going to drill these, drill them, fasten them onto that, that. So I'm doing that now. Okay then. So this is going to be the last uh, bit of this video, and then we'll move on to uh, part three. So I have mocked up the setup. So I've got the turbo, which looks pretty damn cool from down here. Uh, we're going to have to get uh, some kind of throttle on here somewhere. Like, a, I don't know, summit, just so we can look cool. And then I'm going to get uh, an oil pressure gauge in here. Oil pressure gauge, wide band sensor there. So there's the turbo. And then there's going to be this pipe, three inch pipe that goes from here to the turbo to the throttle body. Um, the magnet is just holding it in place so I can't touch it. But that's what I'm going for. Get the tabs put on there. I've cocked them up so I'll start them again tomorrow. Tabs on there. Seam weld all these joints. Um, I'm going to have to sort of Google the best technique to getting that to fit onto there nice and neatly. Uh, so I'm going to have to sort of design as well. Trial and error, cut that out, get that to merge nicely. And then underneath, pretty straightforward, um, straight pipe off there, 90 degree elbow to there, weld that up, so that's pretty easy. Um, yeah, so far so good. Um, I've just realised uh, that I might. Yeah. Um, I might get away with it. I might need to buy some heavy duty um, circlip pliers so that I can turn the housing. Uh, that needs clocking. That might, damn, I might have to do that. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Hopefully, I'll keep it around 10 minutes uh, and we'll see you in the next one.